You can set your Google Maps to find Matthew Street, 1T, or a Hard Day's Night Hotel. It's very easy and it's a short walk from Albert Dock. If you don't enjoy a night out in Matthew Street, you're just not trying hard enough. So this is my friend John Lennon. This is the original entrance to the Cavern Club and here's another Liverpool icon, Scylla Black, and she used to work in the cloakroom. So this is the famous Cavern Club and for £2.50 you can come in here, there's live music all day, every day and the drinks are at pub prices. The Cavern Club was born here in a warehouse cellar on the 16th of January in 1957. This new doorway displaying a montage of archive photographs is situated on the exact site of the original entrance to the cavern which opened for the last time on the 27th of May in 1973. During that period, fans walked through the old doorway down a narrow staircase of 18 stone steps into a basement atmosphere that made the cavern such an exciting venue. Whether you came to listen to jazz, skiffle, blues, Merseybeat or rock, the club played host to hundreds of legendary names, but it was the Beatles' appearances and their eventual worldwide success which gave the cavern a magical status. Sadly, the cavern was forced to close in 1973 and the warehouse above it was demolished to make way for a ventilation shaft to be constructed for the new underground railway system. The shaft was never built and the cavern was simply left filled with rubble and remained in an undisturbed state below a makeshift car park until 1982 when redevelopment work started. The club reopened on the 25th of April 1984 and since then has reasserted itself as a contemporary live music venue and has opened its doors to bands such as Oasis, The Coral and Arctic Monkeys. The club remains as a global destination and the ultimate place of pilgrimage for Beatles fans. If you come to Matthew Street, this is the other Beatles Museum. Adults £9, kids £4. See Jean's film that takes you around the fantastic Beatles Museum. And we have other guides of Liverpool. But the Beatles story doesn't end there. Jump in at the Hamburg section of Doris Visits and continue with the Beatles story.